Greetings. So I am uh, going to slow these down just a little bit. I never really intended for these to be a daily thing, but uh, it kind of turned into it as I was exploring the medium a little bit. It's been a long time since I've been working in video, you know. I make my, my living as a web developer, but my uh, my college degree and actually my my field of real real interest and study has been in photo and video and audio video production and things like that for, for a long, long time. There's a picture of me at four years old with a camera in my hand. Uh, and it kind of just continued from there into writing and audio recording and podcasting and things like that. Uh, I was into film production for a while, did visual effects and things of that sort. So I'm going to slow these down a little uh, just to make sure that I, I always have something to say. <laughs> but uh, I love publishing. I love the game of publishing. I love coming up you know, with a story, figuring out a way to tell that story, to communicate it through whichever medium is appropriate and uh, as you can tell, I kind of like to talk, so that helps too. So today, I'm gonna take you on a little, a little journey. Uh, I'm helping, there's a game studio here in Springfield, Missouri called Pixelscopic that I've done some freelance work for uh, and helped out with one of their titles. And we're, we're gonna go move offices and I'm gonna go help them with that and then uh, share a couple more little things about publishing and, and kind of the game of publishing uh, throughout the day. Welcome to the now former offices of Pixelscopic. Uh, this is in an older part of Springfield called uh, Commercial Street or C Street. This is like historic Spring downtown Springfield, Missouri from a long time ago. And as you can see, they kind of had a neat loft space, uh, you know, with, uh, with the, the brick and everything. And it was fun to work with them on a freelance basis because it taught me a lot, not just about game development, but then I got to use things like uh, the web development skills that I have and put them to use as well in telling stories in a different context uh, and with you know a different level of interactivity and things like that. All right, so we got Pixelscopic all moved and uh, now I'm headed to do some freelance. Um, actually doing some freelance for 5x5 today, probably I'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff for them. It's so much fun working with companies both in the physical world or in the uh, digital space where I usually am, uh, but people who are building things for, for storytelling, you know, I love the games, I love the podcasts, I love uh, just in general the publishing tools, different things we can do uh, for storytellers, and I think it's, it's, it's probably why I love this industry so much. You know, sometimes I wonder what it takes to actually stay in contact with those goals. What does it take to stay in sync with the team members that you, uh, you're joining with, you know, the people that you kind of like fight alongside, for lack of a better term, or the, the, the joint goals that you have as an organization or as an online group or whatever. What does it take to actually stay in sync with them so that you know you're all fighting or working toward the same thing? So many Slack teams. All right, back in the office. Going to take a quick break for some lunch. Actually, that's a lie. I'm going to eat while I work. Uh, and uh, for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then I gotta hop back in the car and drive for a while, and uh, going to do some stuff this weekend. So, always on the move. I appreciate you following along. It's been fun to do this kind of short form storytelling, and and I'll try to be I'll try and be regular, but I won't be every day, uh, just because I want to make sure it's always always fun and always interesting for you. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. It's been it's been a nice little exercise. So be well, and I'll see you next week.